Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. Um, so I finally bought a car tripod. Breakthrough. Um, so yeah, you want a car tripod now? I mean, look at me getting all fancy on the YouTube. Um, so yeah, this week I have asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions for a catch up. You know, I feel like I've not really had a catch up in life um, in a minute on like Instagram or YouTube so let's have a catch up um, I'm gonna go get a Starbucks because it's a four o'clock and I treat myself every day to a Starbucks and I've not had one yet today so I'm really 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 ecstatic to go get this Starbucks it's later on in the day which is great but I have thought I'm going at four o'clock and it's a Friday so I'm gonna hit rush hour which is annoying but oh well means I've got longer in the car with you lot Go get a Starbucks, Starby B. Don't know why I call it a Starby B. I'm never ever calling it that again in my life. Um, but yeah, gonna go. I'll get the Starbucks first, and then we shall see about the questions because I need to go on my phone. It's actually really annoying because there's not a Starbucks drive-through really near me. It's like a ten-minute drive um, for me to get to a Starbucks. So. Yeah, it's not that bad but in Leeds like I swear to god there's like 100 million Starbucks drive throughs um, but there's not in Manchester like it doesn't exist it's not a thing so yeah they're a bit more spread out then in Leeds that's okay oh god the traffic is a myth but it's okay yeah, at Starbucks. The traffic was actually not even bad. I was so, I seen one queue and I was like, oh my God, the traffic was actually really good. It was a really fast 10 minutes here. Starbucks. How are you for you? Hi, please sort of get a medium soy milk latte with sugar free vanilla. Yeah, I think I'll. That's everything, thank you. That's great, thank you. Thanks, bye. Sophie's ringing. Hello, Miss Sophie Cresswell. How are you working now? Um, I'm on YouTube. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you're in my well, class so they can hit all the can it hear never, you. It never lets me ring Mary's phone and now it's let me ring her, so that's great. Yeah, it never actually... Sophie's been ringing me. It's not... Well, probably because you've got about five numbers. I don't know which one to ring you on either. <laughs> Sophie's changed her number recently and I literally have like Sophie, Sophie new. One second. Thank you. Thank you. And I literally have like Sophie, Sophie new number. And I don't know which one to Sophie. text from because you don't answer me on either. Yeah, you rang me on both of them. Because <laughs> I don't know which one to ring you um, on. I know. Um, but what, what did you ring me for? I actually rang you because one of my questions that I got asked. Um, oh. I was going to ask you. Well, someone actually said for us to do the hot sauce challenge together. So we need to do that. Me? Yeah. Oh my god, you yeah, you couldn't do it. You'd die. Um, I would die. But anyway, go on. I got asked, what is something no one would know about me? Ooh. <laughs> and I thought, you what know me some... better than anyone, probably. <laughs> <laughs> what is something no one knows about you? I hope that they can hear this on the, on the camera. Um, oh, that's a sticky one. That's actually. a sticky one, that, isn't it? Yeah, um... I feel like everyone knows most things about me in life. I know, I feel like they actually do. Um, <laughs> that, that Mary's second's always bigger than her first one. <laughs> And it is the biggest ache of life. And also that her feet Thank are you. so flat brown. <laughs> <laughs> she is the most flat footed person. I've got pictures on my phone of foot and it's just the whole thing is on the floor. <laughs> There's no art. So what you're trying to say for me to tell people on YouTube is my, the things people don't know about me is my second toe is bigger than my first toe. And yeah. that I've got flat feet. You're the, you're the flattest foot person. I love how it's not like, you know, you're such a nice person. <laughs> you're not 
not like <laughs> you're such a genuine person. Nope, it's my toes. No, it's your toes. It's, there's got to be something else as well. Something else about Mary. Um, well, there are two things that no one would know. I feel like yeah, it's, no one would it's know a that. common thing, though, you know, about that people have the second, the second toe longer than the, the big toe. It's not a lot longer, it's just a tiny bit. Uh, I mean, I mean, if you've got a foot fetish, then no one would take Mary on a date. <laughs> Just look at me and go absolutely not. I'm only joking. You actually got nice feet, but just that, just that second toe. No, they are nice feet. They're just my, just my second toe's longer than my first one. But yeah, if you've got a foot yeah. fetish, you're not the gal. <laughs> 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 yeah, but yeah, I mean, it's a good thing. Yeah, 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 it's a you know, other people's is really high. Mine's, Mine's really, really flat. flat. Yours is really, really flat. Mine's really flat. Well, you wouldn't think it. You wouldn't think it. <laughs> <laughs> there are two <laughs> things that you'd mean you never thought, thought you would ever hear about me, but here we are. So, mm. grass well. <laughs> that was so um, funny. That was funny. I don't know what else I'm going to think. Mm. I'm really soft. But I feel like people know that. Yeah. I cry at everything. Oh, another thing is, yeah, Mary is a softie, but then she can never be wrong in an argument. She will never give in till the, the day is done. Like, no matter what it is, <laughs> like, no, you will never. fight to the death. Yeah. You will fight to the death for that point, yeah. no matter what. Yeah. And you're very good. You're very good in arguments. Yeah, I am. You're very good at twisting it. I'm so good in arguments. Like, no one will beat so me in an good. argument. No one will beat you in an argument ever. I think that's why we're actually best mates, because I'm the one that's like, <laughs> you know what, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it. And then you're just going in, and I'm just like, I'm just, yeah, but it I'm, is what it is. We I'm, never I'm, no, argue. No, we know. We have, we have, we have a couple we of have, times. We have a couple of times. Yeah. But that's always been when I've been, like, the one to be like, oh, do you know what? Because she it was is, wrong. Sorry. Yes, I was wrong, yeah. Well, I, won't, I wouldn't have won anyway, even if I was fucking right. <laughs> no, I am bad with that. Like, I'm very stubborn. You are the most stubborn person in the world. I and mean, I am very stubborn. But I'm the best person to have on your side, like, is in terms of a friend. Oh, like, my God. Yeah, I will sense. fight your corner fight. with my yeah. arguing skills to whoever you yeah. need till death. Like... Yeah, no even if I'm in the wrong. Yeah, even, yeah, even if I'm in the wrong, wrong. I will twist it somehow <laughs> so she's in the right. And I don't care what anyone says to me, she didn't do anything wrong. I will find. Do you know what? I would have been so... Wait. I've got the one thing that no one knows about Mary. <laughs> that she absolutely barefooted stomped around Abu Dhabi Island for a full eight hours. <laughs> no barefoot round Abu Dhabi for a full eight hours, not one heel in sight. Round the that F1 is... Grand Prix, and we was in the best section you could get into. I don't know how we blagged his way into that one, and my feet were hurting, oh. so I just took my shoes off. I looked like oh, this absolute. Way? It was an hour in and the shoes were off and it was just, honestly, that was one of the best days of my life. So yeah, it was so funny. funny. And everyone was so prim and proper there and I just had my heels flinged over. <laughs> Sophie had her shoes stapled because hers snapped. <laughs> <laughs> we both just we got We actually steaming. was like the real housewives of trash. <laughs> <laughs> we actually was. What no matter where we go, we, we still trash. We still trash, it's really funny. Um, oh god, that that was great. Nobody would ever think that you would barefoot stomp it around Abu Dhabi, but you did. Yeah. So <laughs> I did. You and I, you know what? I'd do it again. And you do it again, and I would as well. <laughs> I would that, try was, in the fun. that was one of the best days of my life. Best days, the most chaotic, funniest chaotic. days to remember. That's ever. another time when I got <laughs> Sophie's back. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Oh god, what Literally, a fucking If I could trick tell that you that was. story, which I won't tell you, I won't say it, don't worry, Sophie, but I had Sophie's back till death. 
on that day. <laughs> oh, God, what a day. Yeah. What a day I would relive. Yeah, same. Okay, I'd love to have like a what? camera from, um, following us on that day because it was just needs that's going to go down as one of my core memories in life. Yeah, same. That day will never die in my brain. It's one to tell the kids, that is. No, one. it is. One to tell it the is. kids, it one is. to tell well thanks then that's really great you've well, helped me you've, you you've exposed my toes you've exposed my Both, black all, foot. all three all three of the things you know about mary was all about your feet <laughs> <laughs> no one of them was about my my stubbornness and i'm never wrong yeah, oh yeah you're stub- yeah you're stubbornness and you can never be wrong that was one yeah yeah, you know what I should gone. have been, and this is this was actually one of my questions. It was, what was you gonna be if you didn't be a social media? I feel like I've really dived into the video because you rang me as I was going through the drive-through. But oh well. <laughs> um, I would have been. I wanted to be a lawyer when I was younger, and I think I would have yeah, made a great lawyer. lawyer because I genuinely could look at. I could listen to Sophie telling me a story where she's completely ninety, one hundred percent in the wrong, right? And she'll tell me their <laughs> point of view. When Sophie's still in the wrong, and I will find the smallest detail that would give Sophie a leg, leg to stand on, and then come back with a full argument, and I'd always win it. I should have been a yeah, lawyer. That is, That's what lawyers no, you do. Would have been a real, yeah, you would have been a great barrister. And even in like the the times of pressure, like say I was in an argument with someone face to face, I never crumble. I always know what to say. The perfect the perfect line to say. Like I never right. crumble. You hit them where it. I hit him where it hurts. Yeah, I do. Yeah, where, it where it hurts. And I never, like, I'm, hurts, I'd never yeah. been in an argument like, uh, 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 uh. I'm just like, bang, 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 try come for me now. And then if they come for me again, I'll just be like, bang, bang, bang. And then by the end of it, it's like, oh my God, so sorry, Sophia. You didn't do anything wrong. She was right all along. Sophia could have run someone over and they'd apologise to her after I'd had this argument. Yeah, basically. You are really good at that, Mary. Yeah, I should have been a lawyer. I should have been a lawyer. Maybe I'll train late in life like Kim Kardashian did. Because I was actually really smart in school, which no one ever seems to think. But I was so smart in school. I was in top set everything. Well, I did um, I did my law school. It was actually really hard. but mm. I just um, hated education. That was my thing. I hated being in education. But if I would have liked being in education, I would have made a great lawyer. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, my God. I feel like I've just seen a mouse in my garden. We probably have it outside. Oh my god, I feel like it's under my. Was it a mouse or a rat? I don't know, Mary. It will have been a rat. What? (laughs) (laughs) Rats are everywhere outside. I need to get Suki outside now. But then you, (laughs) you live near a field, so you might you might be a mouse. You're right. Oh my god, it was really small, but I just seen it run. There was there's actually, a, there's a this is hole. another fact that you've just um, gone into. This, this video is already going off track, but there was actually a mouse in Love Island Villa, and was there? yeah, and it used to be like in the um, actual house, and like Ew. once I like was like, ah, there's a rat, and it was like, it's not a rat, it's a field mouse, um, but it was a rat. Well, it's not a mouse, but a mice and a rat is the same thing to me. In the Love Island Villa, you heard it here first. Someone's probably already said that, but there was actually a mouse in there. Slash rat. Oh. And it used to run across the top of the walls as well. Get me out. <gasps> yeah. No, I'm not down for that type of a thing. That's something I forgot about until just now. Yeah. Oh, well, I hope to God that there's not one in my fucking garden. Just start leave the doors off. What if it climbs in through your bedroom window? No, right. Let's just shut up now. I'm joking. Mice can't climb anything. that high, surely. No, but it won't anyway, because Suki will get it. So but, Suki probably right, away well, from the mice. Think... No, she wouldn't. She's the hardest cat on the street, and yeah. Yeah, you are. You big buddy. Right, okay, I'm going to let you go. I'll see you later. All right, well, um, I shall come to pick you up at half six. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's at seven. Oh, well, I mean, I'll just come to yours for half. Oh, six. right, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, all right. Then. Okay, right, see, see you soon. All right, bye. 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 So, tonight I'm going out for dinner with the girls. This is why I was seeing Sophie later. But yeah, I was thinking about things you don't know about me, like about my childhood, not about my feet. But I mean, you can hear it here. Sophie's exposed me now. You can't be embarrassed about anything in your life because then that's how people can attack you. 
I've accepted I've got one toe longer than the other, and that's fine. If people don't like it, get to fuck. But anyway, this video is a real dive in, I feel. Um, but Sophie rang me over and says we're going through the drive through. Um, so I have asked you lot on Instagram just for like a catch up. I feel like I've not done a catch up in the longest time. And I love when people do catch ups. So yeah, I've asked you all what you want to know. And we've already answered two questions. What I would be if I didn't do social media. And what you don't know about me. So that's that. Um, so a lot of these questions was about my gym and fitness and what I eat and everything like that. Um, one of the questions was how is Sophie's 60 day challenge going? So if I'm perfectly honest with you, that challenge I never even really started. Um, Barcelona completely threw me off and obviously as you've seen in Barcelona I had a drink and didn't do the gym and everything else. But I've had a breakthrough since then. So since then I have actually joined a new gym and I love going to the gym which I never ever ever thought I'd say I've been going for like three I'm not I've not been going for three I've been going for two weeks I've going for two weeks now I've been five days this week I went five days last week and I'm just really I feel like my problem was with the gym is I had like a revolution revelation whatever the other day and I haven't been signed up to an actual gym where you go to the gym like obviously last year I was going to Barry's a lot but that's not a gym where you just go and do your own thing I went to Sophie's for PTs but again that was like a PT gym I didn't have a gym membership so I haven't had a gym membership since like before Covid when I lived down south with my ex-boyfriend and that's when I used to smash the gym I was really on my fitness and I think that was my downfall i didn't have a gym membership so i was constantly going to classes and if i'm going to be perfectly honest with you i fucking hate barry's i hate doing it because it's so hard and it's 60 minutes of like boot camp what's well, called barry's boot camp so like boot camp fitness like and i used when i did it last year i was doing it obviously all the time and i never ever woke up and thought oh god i can't wait to go to barry's today I'd wake up and think, oh, I've got Barry's today. And I'd be in a bad mood from the night before knowing I had to go the next day, all the way up until I've gone. And then I'd go, and in that hour, I'd be thinking, I hate being here. And then when I leave, I think, thank God that's done. And then, like, do the whole, whole cycle again the next night. So I like doing weights. Like, I like doing weights and then doing, like, the stepper for half an hour or an inclined, like, walk or a run on the treadmill, whatever. That's where I like, that's when I used to go to the gym like consecutively for like three years straight. I was in the best shape. Well, to be fair, now I look back, I actually think I wasn't in the best shape. I think I was too skinny. Um, but yeah, that's where I think I was really on a downfall. So I've signed up for this new gym and it's such a nice gym. Like it's really, really nice. It's got like an amazing pool, like a spa bit as well. So every morning this week I've got up, except for Wednesday, I didn't go to the gym, but I went to a boxing class, which is, I'll get onto that. Um, I've got up every morning this week and got up, had a coffee, had a banana and gone to the gym and every single day it's like a 20 minute drive there and people are like, oh, you can be bothered driving for 20 minutes to the gym. It's 20 minutes, it doesn't take long. And that just really, I've got my music on. When I get there, the gym's so nice. Like, it's such a gorgeous gym. And then I, like, do my weights and I just really have been, like, enjoying it for the last two weeks. Like, I've not once this week woken up and thought, oh, like, I look for, I've been looking forward to going, like, Tomorrow I'm not, I'm not going because I'm not going to do Saturdays and Sundays. Um, and I'm like, what am I going to do with my day? Because I really enjoy that starts off my day in the right way. That So I think that is going to really help um, me going to the gym. So I'm going to do the gym, the actual going to the gym doing weights, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and sophie has come with me like three of the days which is great like going to the gym with your friend it's so nice i think we do the gym and i actually enjoy it in the gym we have fun and then we go in the pool afterwards and like yesterday we were like an hour in the pool in the jacuzzi like having a catch up about life even though i see her every single day so it was just basically just a normal conversation um and yeah i really i'm just enjoying it i think going to the gym with a friend is really helpful but today i went by myself and i still had as much fun and yeah loved it then on the wednesday i'm now going to do boxing so i started boxing this week 
I'm going to turn my car off actually, there's no need for me to start with it on. Um, I started boxing this week on Wednesday and I did just one session. One of our friends, she's called Chantelle, she actually does PT boxing. Um, and I thought I'll do one session, see how I find it. And my God, guys, I've loved it. Like, I actually loved it. It was so good. I was actually really good at it as well. Like, I'm not even just blowing my own trumpet. I was actually really good. And I loved it. So I've booked in to go there every Wednesday now because Wednesday's meant to be like a cardio day on Sophie's plan because I'm following Sophie's plan still, even though I'm not doing the 60 day, whatever. I am following Sophie's plan. Um, and day three is cardio. So I thought I'm not going to go to the gym and just like do an hour and a half of cardio. I'm not going to do that. So I'll do boxing. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. The only problem I have had is that I feel like I've gone 10 rounds with Mike Tyson. Obviously they don't punch you back. Chantel doesn't punch you back. But she was like, Mary, you're going to really hurt tomorrow. And I was like, Chantel, like, come on. I got to the gym now. I'm not going to hurt. Jesus Christ. The next day... I literally, obviously when you've been punching, you like twist like bits of your body that you obviously don't work in the gym. For two days now, I don't even know how I went to the gym yesterday and today because I've been in bits. Um, I've been in so much pain, but hopefully as time goes on, I'll get used to them muscles being worked. Um, so yeah, I'm doing that on a Wednesday and then on a Wednesday evening and either a Saturday morning or a Sunday morning, depending on how my weekend is, I'm going to do the Pilates because I really love going to Pilates. I really like that. Um, and it's so good for toning, so good for strength and I like going. So that is what my gym plan is going to be for the next, well, until summer now. And I can't see it slipping because I'm really enjoying going. It's the first time in like years that I've been thinking like, I really can't wait to go to the gym. Um, which is a really good feeling and I do think someone else has asked me one of the other questions is how like do I have gym motivation and obviously as you've seen on this channel I go through periods of time of not going to the gym here in the gym whatever and I do think like looking back to when I used to be like really like a gym girl like I'm gonna be a gym girl now um it's because I enjoyed what I was doing so me going to Barry's like Ellie for example she loves Barry's she loves going and so that's good for her that works for her I don't personally enjoy going to Barry's which is what I haven't realized because I used to just think I hated the gym in general but I don't hate the gym in general I enjoy going but doing weights and cardio like in my own time than being in a class so I think finding something that you enjoy, sign up to a nice gym, like my gym now that I've signed up to is so nice, like I could literally spend all day there, like there's like a, a bit of a restaurant bit, there's like the nicest pool bits, I think there's two, yeah there is two pools, and there's an outdoor pool, like it's really, really nice, so try find like a nice gym in the area, and just find doing what you enjoy in the gym and then that will help and as well another thing before I move on because we're already on so long into this video and I've only answered like three questions um Sophie said to me the other day I rang her and I was like oh, I just feel so much better already like I really enjoy going to the gym and I said like I'm not gonna wear myself this time because when I wear myself I get obsessed with it and then if like I don't drop a pound or whatever I'm like oh well why am I not dropping a pound when really I've been going to the gym every day I obviously am looking better it's about how you look not about what you wear is something that i've really come to terms with over the last few years because when i was younger i was obsessed with weighing myself and weighing this amount and like it doesn't even matter like that does genuinely mean nothing um so but so said to me it's not even about how you look mary it's about how you feel and she said like i've noticed a difference in you these last two weeks when i'm going to the gym because when i'm active i'm so much more mentally happy like my um when i'm not exercising like after I had my car crash last year and then I went going to the gym and I literally just went on a downwards like spiral and obviously I think a lot of that obviously was most of it was from the crash but it didn't help that I wasn't doing any exercise because when I exercise it makes me feel so much better like I'm so much happier like I feel more awake and she was like you've got to do it for how you feel and once you start doing something because of how you feel then the results come regardless but that's how you as well you don't stop doing it because you enjoy doing it and you're doing it for your, how you feel and your mental health and everything else so you, you don't want you won't stop you won't miss a session because like i won't miss next week because it's i loved going this week so that maybe will help you with some 
inspiration for the gym i don't know and then also buying new gym clothes i'm obsessed with gymshark at the minute i've literally bought so many things from there and then sent me parcel last week with a gym setting and i was over the moon with it um yeah do you need gym clothes always helps you look forward to the gym um but yeah that is how my gym plan's coming along i am gonna film one next week like about what i eat and stuff in the day and like a bit what i'm doing in the gym because it has been so requested but this is like kind of my backstory into inspiring you into the gym and just my gym updates which is really great but this question has been asked quite a lot in the messages um about my love life all because it is a valentine's day next tuesday not next year like tuesday coming as in like four days time so someone's put are you still single and do you prefer it um so i am still single <sighs> fucking hell three years um and do i prefer it i think this is like uh you can't compare the two so i had this conversation with my friends the other day about um being single because i go through times so i'm like oh like i really just want to have like a boyfriend or whatever um but then i go through times so i'm like i couldn't physically have a boyfriend right now in my life like i'm so lucky with the friends and family that i have like i know i say it and i know everyone says it but genuinely like i feel so blessed to have the family and friends that i do and because my family live in leeds i my friends are literally my family in manchester now so I see my girls every single day like one of them at least I see every single day um and I think like I have so much fun with them when I like last summer I went away all the time with my friends like I just had the craziest year and had the most fun with my friends so I go through stages I'm like if I had a boyfriend I couldn't see you like every day because obviously I was spending more time with him and I love my life I have such a happy life and the best friends in the world and the best family in the world um but then I do think there's nothing better than being in love with someone. Like, when you're in love, nothing beats that feeling. Um, so it's very, like, I can't say if I prefer being single or if I pre prefer being a, in a relationship. Because they're both so different. Like, having been in love with someone, there's no greater feeling. But then my life right now and the friends I've got and the family I've got and, like, the life I live, I'm so happy. I'm like, I don't know where a boyfriend would maybe fit into that. Um, so I just think before christmas i was like i really want a boyfriend da, 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 like blah 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 um but i just realized like that is gonna come for me whenever it comes and until that point like i have the best life i'm so lucky to have everyone that i have so i just need to enjoy it and then it'll come when the time is right like when the universe thinks it's time for me to settle down and have a partner then it'll come but i'm not putting any more pressure on it because i feel like i was pre like what i'd what well, it's so bad last year and i was like wanted it and it just it just doesn't work like there's no one left like i just there's just no one there's no one for me i don't think that my person's gonna be in manchester um so i don't know i don't know where i'm gonna find this person but there's just no pressure on it like there's literally no pressure it's one thing that i'm just like it'll come when it comes and yeah i basically give up for now like i'm not putting any more time into it i give up on that one that kind of leads me on to a question of do you think you'll live in manchester forever um so i do probably i don't know if it was up to me i would live in manchester for the rest of my life like i love manchester it's so close to my family so like it's like 50 minutes for me to get back to leeds like to my mom and dad's so it's literally so close um and i just love manchester all my friends are here everything in manchester is so good but I don't feel like I'm going to meet a boyfriend in Manchester. So, like, obviously, if I met a guy and he wanted to move to Manchester, great. I mean, it's best of both worlds. But I am also open to, say, I met someone who wasn't from Manchester moving away to where they live. Like, I don't know how I'd really cope with that because I did that when I was younger with my ex-boyfriend and I literally had no mates. Um, and I'd diving away from my friends and my family but maybe i think if i met someone especially like at this age and they lived somewhere else um i would always keep my apartment in manchester and i would just like flip between the two um but in terms of settling down ideally if it was up to me i would like to stay in manchester because i really just love it here but i am open to also move into other places if that's what is destined for me but at the minute yeah i'm very happy with manchester and i love it here it's the best holidays or holiday trips 
think they're the same thing. But yeah, holidays. So I am actually going on the next, um, well, it's not really a 24 hour trip this time. I'm going to go for two days. And I think either next week or the week after, I just need to see um, when I can take Kiana from social PR. But we have chosen, well, Instagram actually chose um, that I'm going to go to Switzerland on the next trip, which is so exciting. I've never been to Switzerland and everyone said it's amazing. People said to go because there's still some snow there, it's still quite cold. And you know, people suggested a lot of places like Italy or Spain again, but I want to do them when it's hotter. Um, so I feel like Switzerland is the perfect choice for February. So obviously, you guys will be coming along there. So that's really exciting. And then obviously I'll have another one at the beginning of March. And then at the end of March, at the end of next month, I'm going skiing with Sophie and Ellie. Um, and I've not learned how to ski yet, which is a bit of a borderline problem because them two both been skiing. I've never been skiing and I've never had a lesson. And they keep saying to me, Mary, you've got to learn how to ski. Um, and I know I need to go to the chill factor, but I've just not had the time yet. So maybe next week I'll like book a ski lesson because um, I obviously do need to go like I need to learn how to at least stand up before I go on the slopes like everyone's saying to me it's so different and I really not understand that that would be so different but I'm like I can't turn up to I think I'm going to France's um for the first time ever on on snow with skis on I'll be like I won't have a clue so I want to just go and learn how to like at least stand up and like start and stop before we go so then my holidays for the next few two months um, which I'm really excited about and then I'll be going somewhere in April but I mean that's so far away I can't even process that but they are the next trips I'm really excited for skiing but I do need to actually get a move on and learn how to ski because it's going to end in a bad way someone's asked what are my red flags um, oh god the list goes on the list goes on um, but what are my red flags I mean I feel like boys are full of them these days um red flags for me are god there's so many where do i start one massive red flag and this actually like is a bit of an ick for me like i've realized this recently um it's actually like i think an ick so you know when you're, like, you're texting a guy and they take so because i'm really bad on my phone like i'm really bad with texting people with my friends my family everyone i just hate texting like i genuinely think i don't want to text you asking you how your day is being like that's so boring so i take quite a while to reply to people but when boys say like if i see the message i'm on my phone i'll reply straight away but then other times like i'll be out and i won't see the message for three hours so i'll reply then when i see it but do you know when guys like you haven't replied in three hours so then they don't reply in four hours so then you don't reply for 30 minutes they don't reply for 31 minutes like just text me when you see the message like it's that to me it's just like what are you doing that's not really a red flag that's, an, that's more of an ick for me and i've only realized it recently because i was speaking to someone the other, the other week and they was replying all the, all the time really fast like no matter how long i took to reply they'd reply really fast and i was like this is such a good conversation because you're not wait you're not saying two things to someone in the whole day because you've not replied in three hours and they don't reply in four hours and then like just stop playing games with me if you see the message reply to it and we'll have a good conversation like that's an ick um but red flags when people want facetime like why are you not facetiming or like caught if they only facetime in the car like this isn't really a red flag that's happened to me but it's happened to some of my friends and like they've been speaking to people who wouldn't ever FaceTime them, wouldn't ever FaceTime them only if it was in the car. And I was like, that's such a red flag because it means that there's someone at home. Like, they are hiding something there. That's a massive red flag. Um, when guys, like, like every girl's photo and follow every girl on Instagram, that's a red flag. Um, a red flag that I have thought of, actually, is if you are on a date or at a guy's house or anything, 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 and they have their phone this way down on the table or the whole time, that is a red flag. Like, why is your phone not up? Why don't you want to see notifications? What are you hiding from me? That is a red flag when the phone is down like this all the time. Like, I mean, some people might just do it, but I do think that's a red flag. 
Um, I know if I would, if I was trying to hide my phone, I'd put it down like this. If I was hiding something, so yeah, that's a red flag. What are you doing? What are you doing? One more question because I feel like this is going to be. It was meant to be a little snappy, short YouTube video, and I've ended up speaking to you for ages. My apartment is another thing that has been asked because I said I know I showed you all me redoing it. Um, I actually bumped into one of you at the Mars sample sale last weekend and they was like, we need to show us an apartment update, we need to see it. So it's not finished yet. Um, I've actually decided to have all the walls repainted, just the same colour again, but when I've been like having after parties and moving in and everything, the walls have gotten like they're not dirty you can't see them like but i know it's there i know that it needs redoing so as i've decided to go on neutral i'm gonna have all the walls repainted so hopefully i can get that done next week um i have picked up the paintings which are amazing from biz Ron. he's done them and I, they're just not hung up yet because like my dad and my brother or anything has not been over since i've got them so i need them to come over get the paintings hung up um I've got all my little accessory bits now. Everything's in there except for just like the walls and the paintings. So as soon as that is finished, I will show you all. Um, I actually made like a really cute little moss ball today, which I was so proud of because I wanted a moss ball. And there was just none that I could find online that would go with my apartment. So like I bought a dish, like a, not a dish, like a, a, a vase, but it's a kind of a dish. It's like a big ball um, with legs. And made a moss ball and I was really proud of it. So I will show you all the apartment update um, as soon as I've got the, it all painted and like the pictures up so you can see the finished effect. I did actually yesterday decide to redo my hallway as well. As I've said, there's colour in my hallway and I've decided now I just want it all neutral. So like you walk from my hallway to get into my lounge, my kitchen and everything. So, you know, it just fits and the colourful room will just stay in one room in my dressing room. That's the only colour I'm allowed in my apartment. Um, so I did order everything for that, the hallway. I mean, there's not much to change. It's like the sideboards change, a new lamp, a new mirror, um, and like new like vases and stuff um, that I've ordered. But the um, sideboard doesn't actually come for three weeks. So I will show you my lounge before that. Um, but obviously then when the, the hallway is finished, I'll show you that as well. But yeah. I can't show you just yet because it's not fully finished but it is getting there and it's such a zen space now like it's just calming and relaxing and I just love being in my apartment again which is amazing because obviously that is where I live <laughs> I'm joking um that is where I live but I liked it before um so yeah I will update you on that guys um as soon as that's all done show you hope you all like it I'm sure you will everyone who comes in is like it's so much better it looks so much bigger um and like the other the the bright accessory stuff we just gonna have to go in my storage unit until i get a house so yeah guys i know that was really random i really i feel like i've just thrown a vlog at you with no structure no planning or anything like that but i mean i hope i've answered i think i've answered about six six i think i've answered about six questions there I mean, it's saying on this it's already 40 minute, 41 minutes long and there was a start bit as well, so it's going to be another long one. How have I just sat in a Starbucks car park and talked to a camera screen for 45 minutes is ridiculous, to be honest, but I've done it. I can talk for England. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video and found, I mean, the only thing you've really found out is about my toes, which is fucking brilliant. Thanks, Sophie Snake. But I will see you all next week. Let me know what you would like to see. If there's anything specific you would like to see, let me know in the comments. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Need to go get ready to go out now.